Nice to see you. It's been a long week. Don't worry, it's just tea. I've had a few questions in the comments about how I set up the lunar display with the network settings and everything. I thought what I'd do is I'd just, I'd delete it, uninstall it and just walk through step by step how I set it up with all my network connections as well. And hopefully that can answer some of your questions. No messing around today, we'll just get straight into it. It's the weekend and I work 10 hour shifts in the hospital over the weekend and then straight back into it on Monday. But I said I was going to do a video every week for you, so I'm going to do a video for you. But I haven't had much time to prepare. I think I'm getting a cold as well. So, hey, it is what it is, but I still want to make you a video. So let's just get into it and not mess about. Because I'm getting an early night tonight as well, because I'm up first thing tomorrow morning. And I really would like to lie in, but hey, we got to make that dollar. we got to make them pounds. Quid control, you know what I'm saying? Come on, let's get into it. Less of this. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall Lunar Display. So we go to our applications and we find Lunar Display. We right click and we press move to bin. So we'll go to the Astropad i website we want the primary device it's downloading eventually <sighs> it's downloaded so we can then go to open drag it into our applications, it's back, Lunar Display. Then what we're going to do is we're going to our system settings. So we're going to go to network and there's our ethernet connection. So what we'll do is we'll click on it and we'll delete the service. Do I really want to do this? Yes. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'll show you at the back how it's all plugged in and we'll reinstall the network connection. So here I have my ethernet cable and it's going into the ethernet port on the back of the Mac Studio. And the other end, which is going here in the back of the iMac. If you can see the hole down there somewhere. There it is. So we just shove that in there. It's not easy with one hand. There you go, it's in. Right, now we are back. We'll open our settings page. And we'll go to network. And now we want to do a new service. Add service. Okay, we'll call it display ethernet. The service name will be display ethernet. Create. Okay, so that's now created it there. So we'll go into there, we'll check the details, and we'll go down to TCIP, okay, and we'll put in our IP address. So what I'm doing here is I went onto the finder, because after I put in all the IP addresses, I went onto the finder and I clicked on my Mac Studio and then clicked connect as, put in my password, Okay, and now I'm connected and I can get my documents. Although it's still saying Ethernet 1 is not connected, even though that's not what I called it. So yeah, I can see how this is not straightforward. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll do a new finder window, Apple's iMac, connect as. So I'm gonna try the simplest solution first and I've just shut it down. We'll just shut it down and reopen it. Where's it gone? There. Okay, we didn't close it down on the other one either. No, I've lost my mouse pointer. Shut down in the display, quit on that. Shuts down on the iMac, we exit it, and then we try and reload it. Reload it on here. I'm gonna go to um, options up here, it goes settings. That OBS can go away. Allow peer, no, so we don't want peer to peer connections. We want back to Mac and we want connect via ethernet only, that's what we want. Yeah, second display. We'll open it on the iMac. Oh, I've never seen that before. So what I'm gonna do is now that 
the Ethernet's loaded, I'm just going to restart them again. This is proving quite annoying because the old Mac takes quite a while to restart. The Mac Studio is great, it just turns on straight away, but the old Mac... <laughs> Wish I didn't do this now. <laughs> is what we had to do, I'm not going to lie. I had a bit of a worry there, I thought I've deleted my working Ethernet connection and it's not come back. And so I've had to restart my computer a few times and put in manual IP addresses. But what you actually have to do when you come to actually adding this Ethernet service, you will go here, add service. See, I went with display Ethernet. You need to change that to Ethernet. Now what that's happened now is it's given me instead of display Ethernet connection here, it's given me Ethernet and it's gone yellow, which means it works. And the same thing's happened on the other Mac. It wasn't working, but on the other Mac, it didn't actually give me the option for display Ethernet. It just had Ethernet on the older Mac. Anyway, I appreciate it's not straightforward, but it's doable. So yeah, so there we go. That's the Ethernet set up. And um, we've got Luna secondary on the old Mac, which we downloaded. And we've got primary here on the studio that you can see. So let's just open up secondary and it should work over the ethernet. Now we've got the ethernet connection, although I'm not holding my breath. Okay, no, we've got peer to peer. Thought that was happen because it's not straightforward. I want ethernet. I don't want peer to peer because it's crap. Give me a minute. I'm going to have to figure out how we get this back onto Ethernet and I'll tell you. I'm going to have to cut the video because I filmed this last week and I really wasn't well. The sound quality of my footage is just unusable and none of it really made sense. I'm just going to sum it up for you now. I turned it off and turned it on again and it worked on it said Ethernet connected and we were good to go. It's not very straightforward to set it up. Don't feel bad if you're having problems getting it set up. You're not the only one. And it could just be something simple that you've missed, like what I missed, which was, it should have said just ethernet connection and not ethernet display. As soon as I changed that, it worked perfectly. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap it up for you. S since I filmed that, uh, I have been using a Thunderbolt 4 cable and it's better again. I'm gonna do a little video about that next week because I've actually tinkered with some of the settings on Luna display as well. And it seems to work a lot better, uh, even with video on the dual screen so that'll be next week's video i guess i've been doing this lunar display series for you so i think that'll probably be the last one now and move on to something else i'm a busy boy but i still want to do these videos for you i've got a lot on my plate at the moment i'm enjoying making these so i will continue to do i'm not even going to ask you to like and subscribe this one because it, it was a bit of a shonky video and respect if you've made it this far so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one take care peace